Hey guys, this is John Bretz, Director of Product Development with Okuma Fishing Tackle. One of the things I'm going to talk to you here about today is braided line. We all know that braided line is creating a huge trend in the market, great sensitivity, there's zero stretch. But one of the things that you need to know about uh, before you go fishing with this reel is how to spool it on your fishing reel. And the reason why I'm bringing this to you today is that it's the most common call that we get on our customer service side where guys will call up and they say, this reel's got a problem, they're all frustrated, it only gets two, three, four pounds of drag, they fished 18, 20 years, they fish their entire life, and when we try to explain to them, they get frustrated because we tell them they're doing something wrong. So what we end up telling them, we say, sir, send the reel in to us, we'll take a look at it. And in about 90% of the cases, what we find out is that the braided line was not attached to the reel correctly. Now when you're spooling the reel, what you want to do is you want to put something like flex wrap or duct tape on the arbor of the spool. You put maybe two wraps on there. When you tie your line on, you pull it tight and you'll see the line actually bite into the tape. Okay. The other option that you can do is that you could back it with a little bit of monofilament. And the reason why we do this is that braided line is such thin diameter and with the wax coating, it's very slick on the anodized aluminum spools. And so it's going to slip. And so what ends up happening when the guys send the reels into Okuma, what we do is we'll put a little mark on the reel like you see right here. We'll take a firm grip on the arbor of the spool, on the top of the spool there, and under drag pressure, we'll turn it and you'll see the spool line stay stationary, but you'll see the actual spool revolving, okay? What's that tell you? It tells you that the spool is completely spinning and your braided line is not attached. That entire spool of braided line is spinning, okay? So what's gonna happen is that when you go to try to fish and you hook a fish, the whole thing's gonna revolve. You are not gonna get a good hook set and you're not gonna land that fish. So you want to make sure that you back your braided line correctly to the spool of the line. Thank you for watching Okuma's how-to video segment. If you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe.